secret uh, uh, dot um, uh, spec dot um, ds um, uh, which uh, enhance our our test to run and um, to Kumba. So. So I've seen on the screen how to organize tests. And uh, okay, we've done this last week. We we're able to create our uh, future files. Then, um, yeah, I think we did this last week as we combat Cypress plugin and do start and allow people to run the test. Yeah, we looked at this last week. Then, um, step and use creating. Yes, on Cucumba. So create a new file directly inside the integration folder for test scenario, which is name your test as um, dot future. Uh, step to create a folder named directly inside the integration folder and name the name the future folder user login. Okay. Then create a new file called step definition in the test folder. Which is a uh, user login dot uh, step dot js. Then download Jacking Kukumba Jacking language extension to support your test script and color code. So let's dive into this. So let's go to let's launch our VS code. Can we all launch our VS code? Hello, guys. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I'm launching my VS code as soon as this Okay, let me change. I know there are some people that always have a problem with me with my black screen. So let me change it to lights. So lights too. Yeah, so can you view my screen now? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, so last week, this is where we stopped. Am I right? Yes, sir. So the yes, last sir. class, so the last class, we were able to create uh, this feature file. Okay, let me delete and create it again. So I seen on the screen. This is this was what we stopped in the last class. You're all able to get here now. This login test. Just please, guys, hold on. On the generator just went off now. Let me quickly power it on. Just one minute. Hello, am I communicating? Are we all able to get to this point? Yes, sir. Okay. I will assume you all get to this point. So, no, for us to create our, so the next thing we need to do now is to create specification on four. Pardon? Who is that? Three. So now we want to create a new folder, a new folder called the integration uh, integration folder directly directly inside the integration folder named the feature file, which is on um, user login. So come to your 
come to your VS Code, then write under your integration folder. Are you still presenting? I can't see anything. Um, whenever you are performing coupon back tests, remember you are working. We are working with the future file and the um, spec dot um, gs spec dot gs. So uh, spec dot gs, you know, um, file uh, folder, you know, it specify you know the the test you are performing you know on uh, on cucumber you know it's just like a guide you know to reference to what your you've created you know in this um feature file profile here can you see the uh, can you see the feature file profile profile um um test we've created in the last class you know we have Hello, the login future so can can have, um, as much. pardon your screen is not visible you're not presenting. Okay, I'm not sharing my screen. Okay, oh, sorry. I'm doing that now. So, um, so the log, yes, the future file, and the specification on spec.js file actually support each other. You know, to enhance your test, and um, for every feature you create, you must create a uh, a future a spec.js um, folder. So imagine, um, let's say this is a feature which is logging you know for cucumber test and remember this is um this is a login test you know from from uh, the normal cypress test which we ran you know earlier you know in the you know earlier when we started um cypress as um, web automation and um this is login dot future you know which is for cucumber framework test so for every feature you created for every feature you create there is always a um dot um spec dot js you know you add to it so um so let's assume you're working on login you've created the login feature test then we need to create um spec.js um login um feature test login or uh, spec.js um test so we'll come to the login here which you've created a folder for which you've created the folder for right under the integration test and uh, we come here and uh in fact, let me see if I can drag. Okay, I can actually drag it. So let me create another folder here, so we don't get confused. So let me create a folder here and call it on test case. So this is test case for the for the URI test we created, you know, earlier when we start testing. Yeah, what's in there? So I'm already moving all the dots on JS test inside the test case or um, folder I just created. Do we understand?
Yes, yeah, so, we understand. Okay. Yeah, okay. The test case is just before not the JS, right? Yes. Yeah, so all the dot JS on test I created, I'm moving them into the folder I just created, which is test case under integration. So we don't get confused. Did we get that? So remember the first Cypress test we ran. So we ran the URL test and we ran the login test. That was on Cypress test we first performed. This is what it looks like. Like we said, uh, reference type, Cypress, whatever. Uh, it's a um, valid test in you know, visit Conga URL page, cypress.visit on conga.com, cypress.click login button. Remember the login test we first, we first performed and the URL test we performed. Guys, we remember. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, what I've just done is that um, I come to integration folder here. Yeah? I right click on the integration folder, then I created a new folder. So I, I click I click on new folder, then I rename the folder test case, which is for the test that I've created. So all the dot JS tests you've created in your in your VS code, drag them inside the test case folder you just created. So it doesn't mix up, so you don't get confused. So all the dot JS test case now is right inside this um, folder called test case. So it's not outside anymore. So it's all in this um, test case folder. Do we understand? Yes. Okay. So remember, I've um, I've created this. Uh, I've cre I also created another folder. You know, before I created uh, this test case folder, and I named the folder login test. So inside this login test, we we'll, um, login test that we have spec dot js. You know, for this um login test. You know, for this login future. So um if you click on the drop down arrow and you right click okay there's another touches test there okay let me move it in here okay yeah so right inside this um user login which is for spectators i will create a new file then i will name the new file the new file log i'll name the new file um login login you can re refresh your browser login.spec.js so i have created I have created login.spec.js as seen on the screen. So I have a feature which is created as login, which is this. Then I now create a spec.js.js um, script, you know, to support my login test. So as soon as I created um, this spec.js file, it will open another uh, page for you, you know, to start writing your code as seen on the screen. Do we all get that? No, sir. Your screen is still the same. It's still frozen. I just refresh my. my uh, let me refresh. Can you open my screen? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So what I've done now, I have created a spec.js folder, which is user login. And um, inside the spec.js folder, 
which is user login. I've created a spec.js file. Respect.js, you know, is, which is login.spec. Guys, hold on one minute. Guys, sorry. Oh, my now never does the one for you. It was the off like the honor. Yeah. So what I've done so far is um aside from the test case um folder I created here to add my dot JS on test. So I've created another folder, you know, which is blogging, user login, you know, for the test I'm creating, which is, um, you know, I've, we've already created a login on feature or file. Then we create a folder, which is user login. Then we add our login spec.js, you know, inside the um, login. So once you turn that, you will see the screen on your screen. And um, right now we need to start adding. Right now we need to start adding you know, our spec.js um, code, you know, to enhance our future um, test. And uh, right before we do that, guys, are you with me? Yes, sir, we are with you, sir. Yes, sir, we are with you. Right before you start writing your code, you, you have to come to your extension and um, download your Kukumba jackets. So if you type Kukumba, Oh, sorry, it's called Kikimber. Kikimber. Type Kikimber jacking. So if you look for, if you search Kikimber jacking, you know, in the extension um, file, uh, you see something like this. So it, this is what it looked like. I see giving when then. So install this guy. So install this guy. It's called Kukumba jacking's full support, you know for full language supports formatting and autocomplete while writing your code on a VS code. You can see what it does. It, uh, it does on syntax, syntax um, highlight, basic snapshot, um, snapshot um, support, auto passing future step from path provided setting.js and etc. So then, um, install that in your VS code. And um, once you're done, you can um, come up here and close the tab, uh, come back to your uh, chairs. So do we all get that? Have you all downloaded that? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. OK, so the first thing we need to do, since we've downloaded the Gukumba check-in, so we, not, we need to state our Gukumba uh, steps, you know, to enhance our steps. So, um, what we do now is to type, uh, uh, you know, so what you are doing now, you know, this is the future file we've created. So we want to analyze, you know, the steps of the test we need to run. So in the future file, we have said, okay, we are working on login. And what do we want to do on login? We want to perform login. Okay. Let's say we want to perform, okay, um, valid login. And, um, the scenario is that I want to log in as a user it means I, I have I have um, signed up already, and you can see the steps. Uh, Kukumba service says, given given I log in on I I launch a Conga URL, and then 
when I click on the login button and I enter valid email address, I enter valid password, then I click on login button. So what should happen when I click on login button? I should be directed to my dashboard. So let's now explain the steps, you know, in detail, you know, inside the um, inside the inspect.js. And mind you, this is supporting, you know, um, this is supporting this test you've um, already created, you know, this dot on GS test you've already created. So if you come up here and I start writing my code and saying, you know, giving, giving um, open brackets, giving open brackets, uh, then, um, uh, um, apostrophe, apostrophe is, um, open column sign, then, uh, Come back to your future, yeah. Uh, if you come back to your future, yeah. Um, uh, well, your future said, um, I don't conga URL, so you can just copy the if you can just copy this statement, you know, as uh, this this statement, you know, given as a um, right inside your future file saying, um, I don't sure. So I like the statement, copy the statement, come to be your login.js here and paste the statement here. So you've already given this statement that's given I launch URL and um, you you launch on um, URL, then uh, we need to complete this um, code. So add a add a comma to it. So once you add a comma to it, you give it a space. Then um, add another curly another um, open brackets, which is this. Then um, after adding another bracket, you come down here. Um, give it a space, then um, add a function sign. So this is what um, function look like. Um, function is um, is equal to then um, greater than sign. So after adding after adding that, then um, you add the you add the um, semi uh, curly braces. So this is curly braces being added already. So then you click enter. So I have. Uh, I have closed this um, statement, you know, doing that now. So you can see I've already given, um, I've already write the first step I want my test to run, saying um, given I long, I, I launch on Conga URL. Then the next one is um, when, which is when I click on login button. So you can just come up here and copy this line. Then um, do Control C, then click on this guy here, type Enter and paste this line then uh, you can change the word you're giving to when so i just change that to giving when then uh, let me um paste uh, the comments there so come back to your future file and copy um the comment here which says i click on login button come back to your dot um, dot your spec dot file then paste in the comment. So you've already stated when. Then um, the next one is um, and. So and is um, when you and is when you enter. Okay, sorry. So let me just recopy this line. So mm -hmm. copy again. Come on that here. Paste. Then you can change this one to and. Then uh, what is the statement for and? The statement for and says come into your uh, future file. Then said enter valid email, but enter valid username. Then come into your login the spell. I like this um, statement inside initially. Then paste it. Then um, you can copy this guy again. Type enter here and uh, enter it says enter valid password. That was all the statement says. So I like this guy, then I can type in now uh, password. So enter password. Then um, the last one, which is then. So change this and to then. Um, so what is the then says uh what is then says then I click click on the login button so 
Alt C, come back to your selector chairs, then enter the comment to say that click on the login button. So you can see, guys, we understand what I've done here right now. Yes, yes. Guys, do we understand? Yes. yes. So I've stated I've stated here my test execution, you know, right here. So you can see I've mentioned giving when and and then. So whatever I've um, listed here, which is what I want to perform, um, the log the feature says um login, and um scenario says um the log the scenario says I want to log in as a user, and you can see the step giving when and 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 um, then. So I've already explained everything here. So right now I've already created a code. Um, I've already writing uh, writing my test script. So now I need to start writing my test script. I mean, so what is the first test? Um, the first test says giving I launch a uh, conga URL. So what I just need to do here is just to come to line three here, and uh, giving I launch conga URL. So what is the URL? The URL is conga.com, and um, what I'm just going to mention here is just to say. Cypress dot um visit visit then open brackets then the um mark and I I mentioned WW okay ww dot conga dot com so I've um, given the statement, we're saying give me a launch URL and I've told Cypress to visit www.conga.com. Then the step, the next line of action says, the, uh, when I click on login button, so I'll come on line 10 here and I said, um, okay, when I click on log, um, login button, so what I just need to do, I can just, um, I can, I, I will need to get the uh, login button uh, element, you know, which is the CSS locator. So I'll say okay, cy dot get cy dot get then open bracket close bracket. Uh, so another another way you can do it, you know, since you are working on login, so you can come to your login dot js here, and um, you, see, you can see here you can just easily just copy your code here. The test script here, which says on uh, login button, just copy and uh, come to login screen here and just paste. You can see we've already gotten what we needed. So, uh, the next line says entered valid URL. So, you can come back to your login here and say and look for okay, enter, um, enter valid. Uh, email address and password okay this is this cy dot get cy dot get um cy dot get username and then type in password so copy this guy here and come to your dot spread dot yes come to line 17 then paste so that is pasted already so another thing i can do here you know not to conflict you can see i said cy dot get the username then um i can just tell let me let me um rephrase this guy so I, I can just tell this guy to okay click click this element perform this um click function when when you see when you see this guy so so that my test won't conflict so my test won't fail so i've told i've told this guy to click um to click on uh, username uh, to click, click on the username field when it gets there then the next thing i need to do now is okay when you get the username then uh, when you click on the username then cy.get type the email address i can just say cy dot get why dot get the username then um perform a click function so come back here then uh, 
of perform type dot type type username um type of sorry so i'm supposed to copy this guy in here see why dot click yeah dot click this guy then type um type the username open brackets then David.ols Michelle at yahoo.com. So you can see I've already um breaking my test here. I said okay. Um once I want to enter username, this guy um Cypress should first click the username field. Then after clicking the username field, Cypress.get the username field, then type in this uh, email address. So same thing we will do for the password. So um, let's come back to the login.js and copy out the password to as well. Come back to login.js. Uh, we can come to the entrance for and paste in there. So see why dot get you know whatever password then perform click action perform click action then come down here i can say cy dot get the password field um, open bracket close bracket get password copy paste then um, perform the type action, type in this password. So do we all understand? Then the next line is, um, then the click action, see where that gets, click the login button. So copy, come back to the to yes. Come to line 33 and paste in your script. So, guys, um, do we understand what I've done here so far? Yes, but I'm having an issue with it on this JS login. When I when I type giving the giving brackets, it comes up with uh, something else. It's web. Well, it's come to something. Yes. Um, have you created the login, the spec.js folder? Yes, I, yes, I did. JS folder. Yes, I did that. Have you installed the um, Chakins Cucumba plugin? Yes. So if you have done that, if you are typing giving, you shouldn't have an error going to you or something else screen. If, if I type giving, is anybody I'm having that issue? You can say I'm typing giving it, giving. I just did giving now and it's giving me option of what yes. I mean. So you can see giving. So that is the essence of the cucumber check-ins you install. Mm. That's when I when I when I type on giving give me uh giving brackets it comes to web GL at TV. That's that's second that's second option that was giving you that is what is coming up on my system when you type giving. This this web GLA yeah. has given for exactly when you when okay. I put brackets have you downloaded Mocha on your VS code? Yes, I have it on me. Why is it giving you that? Is there is there anybody else having the same issue? Anybody else having the same issue?
All right, we'll look at that later. So let's run this test. So I believe everybody is not having the same issue except from Imano. So now we've um, analyzed our login dot login inspect.js file. So we've stated the given, we stated when, and and then um, now we need to run our test. So when we need when when we want to run our test, so we need to come back to our terminal back. Then we do MPS Cypress. MPS Cypress. Open. So as soon as we initiate um, MPS Cypress open. So remember in our configuration, you know, where we have uh, Cypress.json. So we've already stated that uh, we want our test to cover, to show us only our test file, which is um, future files only. So it's only just going to capture all the future file created, you know, for our test to run. So as in the screen, my my Cypress is being launched already. And um, you can see on my screen, my Cypress is launched, which is QC test, which uh, was the name of the test I, I gave. And um, OK, um, I'm having an issue. It said um, no file found in uh in, uh, test cypress integration folder okay so can we all launch um our cypress let me see what we have hello guys This is what I don't like, honestly. We are with you, sir. We are with me, and I'm not getting any feedback. We are getting, I actually got what you taught us, and I've been able to do it. Is anybody having challenges or difficulties with what we've done so far? Yes, me. Okay. Yes, I have. So, have you all launched your your Cypress your terminal? So, on your terminal, go to Cypress dot open. So, once you launch Cypress dot open, it should capture all. It should capture only only your um future files. Have anybody launched your Cypress? Okay, so let me launch Cypress from here, from this project again. So I'll say NPS Cypress open. NPS Cypress open. So I just relaunched um, Cypress on this project now. So I see on the screen, Cypress is being launching. <laughs> So, can you see? So it's captured um, the user login dot future, which is this future we've um, created for our test.
Kang Wis sih. So if we click on this user dot um, user login dot future to run this test. So I've already clicked on the user login dot feature to run this test, and uh, the test is running already. And you can see the test is being executed. So you can see the first um cucumber test said launch URL. So you see user login, login as a URL. Say so I navigate to the URL which is conga.com. So that was executed. And the next next one says I click on the login button, which is executed. And next one said I type in my password. You can see it's typing in my username, which is my email address. type in my password and it's click on login button you can see it um it's directed me to the dashboard already as seen on the screen so you can see number one our our first test passed so we just ran our first test which is user login and it's it's just passed now so that is how cucumber framework works so if i have to create another um, another test which is for let's say um, another test which is for invalid login so you can see um, this is a future this is a existing future so I can just right click on this future and um, okay um, let's try this this is valid login Valid login. Oh, valid login. So this is valid login, and uh, let me um, add another feature and say the uh, invalid login. Invalid login. So let me come back to my spec of folder and says and see can I have I don't think I can have uh, two futures inside uh, can I have two futures inside okay let's try this if it's going to work so let's try for invalid login so let me just copy this guy and um, with this under it I'll come down here and this under here then um, this is a uh, this is invalid login. So let me just pick out A from here, and then uh, name this invalid login. Invalid login. Uh, enter invalid password. Invalid password. Invalid password, invalid username. I click on login button. So, yeah. So let me come back to my. So let me name this guy. Invalid, invalid login. Invalid password. So 
So let me run this test. So it's gonna come close Cypress reads and do Cypress open again. So let's see whether this test is run. So we have two future, these two future file in one future file, which is invalid login and valid login. So we are running the test to see whether it's going to run. All right, so Cypress is launching already. So let's go the test. User login. So inside the user login, we have invalid login and lo valid login. So the test is running. So let's see whether it's going to capture two tests. Okay. There was an um, error thrown following the because it crashed. Okay. Um, all right, um, that didn't work. So let's cancel this guy and uh, create another file dot uh, another spec file dot js not to run this test. So so let's um, duplicate this. Um, um, okay, I just did um, copy. And um, let me say paste here. Okay, I can't duplicate. So let me just create another file, which is .js. Okay, new file. Um, let me name it um, user invalid login dot future so i just created another file saying um user invalid login dot future so let me copy this feature here <clears throat> and paste in here so now this is um uh, this switching to invalid login invalid invalid login i want to log in i want to log in as a user scenario is a um, invalid login so scenario is invalid login as a user and i navigate to the url that I enter in invalid email address invalid email address and it's uh invalid password so enter invalid password so i've already set my um dot login future then um, i need to come to uh, spec.js so i need to create another um I, I need to create another file and rename it spec.js so i will right click on this file uh on this uh, user file then um and say the um, user invalid login dot spec dot ts so i just did that now so it's created a uh, respect dot ts so i can still copy this on um, pre-existing and um, tweak it a bit you know change everything to invalid login so i said i want to navigate to the url then um so enter invalid invalid email address so let me take out a from the email address then uh either enter invalid password invalid password let me take out uh r from the password let me check the invalid login yeah sorry guys one minute light us off again
text already. One is um valid login, uh, user login dot free valid login. Then the second one is uh invalid login dot um future. So if I say run the two integration spec now, so my test will start running. So once you click on this guy, which is um this play button, which says run. So whatever whatever amount of tests you have in your test, if you have like ten tests, if you have like twenty tests. So once you click on this guy, it will run all the tests. But if we just want to run a single test, you can just click on the single test you want to run, and your test will run. So I'm running the two tests at once. So my test is running already, as seen on the screen. So it's launching my browser already. So the first test is running. So the first test already ran. So the second test is running now. So as seen on the screen now, you can see we have two tests run. So we have the valid, the valid login, so which has run and um, it's filled. And you can see the, sec the second one, which is um, valid login, which is passed. So you can see one test field, one test pass. So these are uh, these are this is how your tests run on Kukumba um, on Kukumba framework. You know, using Cypress. So I hope you all grab the understanding of all Cypress works now. So with the help of the um, YouTube um, video tutorial I shared with us, um, it will help us to brush in more our Cypress um, skills. Even me myself, I'm still receiving tutorial, you know, on how to use uh, Cypress. Nobody's perfect, you know. Everybody, everybody keeps learning, you know, every day. So um, I will imply us go and watch that um, um, YouTube tutorial I shared with us. It's a full crash course, you know, for Cypress. You know, whatever you need to know on Cypress, Kukumba framework, how to run Cypress test everything is um fully loaded in there so go through it learn about it and um this is the end of um cypress and uh, if there will be any question you can throw up your question and uh, like i said always refer to your training slide watch or uh, um watch um video tutorial that was on uh, materials that, that have been shared with us study it and um you know um all the best with you in your career so we'll be wrapping up on cypress this week so um we're moving up to uh team meter sir can you please share the uh, this code you're not audible i can hear you yeah i'm saying can you please share this code which you have written in login.spec.js file Okay, the code for logging up. Yes, okay. Um, this so I might just have to. Okay, let me take out my credentials. Sure. Okay. Uh, please give me that. I have a question. What's your question? On the link you shared, you shared us uh, that you keep cost crash course. Um, there is a lot of courses on there. Is it the first one that we should work with? Yes, the first one. Okay. And again, I'm still having issues about the how uh, about the giving. Okay. Um, 
share your screen after this. Uh, let's see. So, Rimsha, I've just um, shared. Uh, I've just shared it with you on the chat. Um, on the chat session, the meeting, so you can copy and paste it. Thank you. For, uh, Thank you. So, um, you can see your screen, Emmanuel. Let me see what you have. Seen. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, copy what I shared with Rimsha and paste it on your own. Copy it from the chat set and paste. I'm having a problem. Okay, hold well on. Okay, copy this I just think. Why is it cutting it off now? Wait, just uh, it stops at um, zero. Just hold on. It's because of the browser, it doesn't accept more than. So where did this go? So from cy.get, from cy.get, oh yeah, copy and paste. Uh, my line that cy.get and paste this one. From that cy.get, take it off from your VS code, then paste the new one I just sent now.
All right. All right. So, um, type in your password and the email address you want to input in your test. Go to the login feature. Go to the login, the valid login you want to execute. Uh, put the email address and password you want to use. Launch your Cypress. MPS Cypress open. Where is the error code? The Cypress is not launching now. Are you sure you've installed the um, you've installed the um, Cypress dependencies? Yes, I did. Order. You can read the reference. Say Kukumba is not defined. And I need to delete the, that project folder and do everything again. Probably you are, you are missing uh, a step in studying uh, Kukumba's dependency. The, the reference error says Kukumba is not installed. I mean, Kukumba is not defined. So you might need to go through all over again. Can I define that in the terminal? You can give it, you can troubleshoot it if you can. So guys, we are moving on to um, JMeter. So I'm presenting my screen right now. Hello. Who is that? I was trying to run my site as my screen giving is not to be fine. He's showing you what? He's saying giving is not defined on site press. Giving is not defined. Yes. Let me I see. I should not be launching my URL. Let me okay, see. Let me share my screen. So can you stop sharing? Where 
Hello? Yes. So this is the reference error. This is my... Um, so um, on the assignment group, for the support, two supports on the group, so Mr. Shala has shared um, another application for us to test. Are you guys aware? Yes. Okay. So we are to test the iOS device and the Android device. So whatever bug you encounter, you can give your reports on the WhatsApp channel. So you can um, pause the um, legal strike testing for now and start testing the uh, MRS uh, quick app, quick pay application. Hello. Yes. So um, what is your error? My error is saying giving not defined. I already run this test. Giving not defined. Yes. Why is the rating given on the find? I don't know. Because there's no error here. And why is it given on the find now? Okay, see, sit here. I see it. Reference error, the following error generated from your test could not from sorry. Given not defined, I don't know. Can you see it? Okay. Let me please, what is that command for surrounding the timber? Okay. Okay, so if you look your error console, can you go back there again? Uh, so if you look at your error console, it says uh, giving, um, I navigate to the URL and um, you said um, cy.visit on um, facebook.com. So close this your Cypress, then go to your VS code. Okay. So, um, giving, then uh, go to your feature file, login.feature. So, um, this um, invalid login, can you clear it off? Clear everything off with the invalid logo. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, run your test again. Mm. the same thing. Go back to your VS code. Oh, click on your login.feature, let's say. 
Should I change that and navigate to website so I launch Facebook URL? Um, copy, I like, I launch Facebook URL. Copy, I, I, I launch Facebook URL. I launch Facebook URL. Yeah. Copy, then come to your login.spec.js. Go up there and um, paste it here. Uh, uh, run your test. Still the same thing. Even I launch Wait, wait, wait. Now you are running the wrong test now. Um you are supposed to run the um uh, dot future. Come to Cypress. Okay. Click on the dot future, login dot future. No test found. Wait, your, 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 your separate is supposed to capture dot test file. Um, I mean, um, Test futures. Why is it capturing still capturing dot js and dot um? So come to your come to your separate separate or json. Click on package of JSON. Let me see. Okay, you need to arrange. Come to Cypress or JSON and arrange arrange the test file. The oh. test our features. I should I should go to where? Cypress or JSON. Cypress Then. Separate or Jason, separate or Jason, click on separate or Jason. I light everything there. I light everything and right click, then click on format. Format document. Yes, on my documents. Okay. I've done that. Okay. So um click on the login dot specter chairs. Okay, let's go through this again. I don't try Facebook here. Okay. 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 So, um, this URL. Yeah. This URL, is it, did you copy it from Facebook URL itself? 
No, I copied it from this my launch URL. No, um, wait, Facebook. Let me get the right URL. All right. So the Facebook URL is meant to be web.facebook.com. www.web.facebook.com. Okay, www. dot web dot facebook dot com. Mm. Uh, sorry. Um, pick out the www. It's meant to be web.facebook.com. Take out the W I uh, have. So run your test again. Click on the um dot dot um spec dot js. I see Is the one that spec js. Yes, yes, click on that. I still don't understand why it stopped playing. Capturing those, uh, supposed to capture all the just future tests. Did the same thing. Yes. It's not, it shouldn't be still the same thing. And so I think that people did not save it. Maybe to better control itself first. I saved it. Can you do controls and run your test again? You may have to rerun all these things today because I don't understand. You may have to rerun this test again. Maybe delete the you test for that and run everything again. And this one is open. This one is green. I'll try and set up another Kukumba uh, test again. Yeah. So guys, let's um do let's do um limiter. So pressure, so look at that with that time is called trying to pressure. Yeah, that's So, K meter. So, um, are we all are we all familiar with? Uh, we all know what performance testing is, right? From our manual testing. I know, guys. We all know what performance testing is. 
Yes. Testing, uh, okay. testing the load and stress on our application. Yes. Thank you, Rimsha. Yes. So, performance testing. So, we are going to learn how to use uh, um, this um, JMetal tool for performance testing. So, what do we try to gain, you know, in this um, training? Agenda. So we have a um, complete knowledge of how to look, test um, web um, and mobile. So while performing, um, while doing performance testing, you can um, perform. You can do performance testing with web application and um, mobile application with um, JMeter. So we also have in-depth understanding of JMeter tools for loop testing and how to and understand how JMeter to works from scratch with our live project demonstration demonstration and uh, we have we all have um, free access to to load testing tool which is um jmeter we stand a chance to be good at application load testing and i'm um, also complete knowledge about jmeter too how to install jmeter on mac and windows how to configure and how to use jmeter and how to load test web application and um, mobile application using JMeter, then um, we, are, we are all familiar with what is Java and uh, how to install Java. Yeah, we all have um, done this already, so we don't have a problem with this. So what do we expect? Hi. Hi. Excuse me, guys. So we'll be introduced to JMeter and how to use JMeter. We will know what is JMeter. What to uh, what loop testing is and um, elements of JMeter, why JMeter is used for performance testing, advantage of JMeter while doing performance testing, how to how does um, JMeter works, JMeter dashboard overview which we'll be exploring, and um, loop testing with JMeter use of assertion and uh, we use of assertion on your test, how to use a uh, how to use listener, how to record script and um, export report on JMeter and how to run JMeter CLI and um, non UI mode and how to how to create HTML dashboard on command line. So um, before we start regarding to the uh, to the MRS application, how many of us are testing the application? Hi. Okay. Um, Hi. Yeah. For those of, for those testing. I've not been to the group. Um. Okay. Um. Buzz me on WhatsApp. Let me send you the. All right. Have you sent me a message? Have you sent a message to me? I just did. I'm trying to do that now. So, so those are the stuff we need to expect, you know, from this um, lecture. So, what is JMeter? So, JMeter is a pure is a pure open uh, source tool, which is a. Uh, I'm still expecting a video. I already messaged you on the WhatsApp group. So it's a popular, it's a popular. 
meter open source tools for performance testing. And meter is used, you know, to perform the testing on application, putting across on um, web application and uh, mobile application. You can also use JMeter to analyze and measure the performance of web application or the variety of services. And JMeter is originally used for web application or FTP application. Nowadays, it's also used for functional testing, for example, um, database testing and um, et cetera. So, So why JMeter? JMeter helps us to load test uh, server. It also helps help us um, load test um, websites and um, web application by simulating real user you know, behavior on and um, testing um, environment. And um, also JMeter is uh, provide a friendly graphical user interface. That means for easy installation and uh, testing strategy, you know testing strategy simulation and uh, many performance testing feature and learning jmita helps you ease your performance testing skills uh, uh, performance testing tasks you know easy and um, why why load testing what is on load testing load testing is a functional software testing process in which in which the performance of um, software application tests under specific expected load. It is determined. It is determined to show how application behave while being assessed by multiple users simultaneously. And load testing is commonly used, you know, for server, client server, and web-based application, both intranet and internet. And this testing is usually to identify the maximum operating capacity of an application. And it is um, another one is to determine whether the current infrastructure is sufficient you know, to run the application. Another one is the sustainability of the application with respect to peak user load. And um, another one is uh, the number of concurrent users that the application can support and scalability to allow more, more users to access it. So reading from from what I've said earlier, you should have an understanding of what uh, uh, performance testing is and uh, what um, load testing is. So the primary goal of uh, using JMeter is to you know, test your application, your application. You know, to check if your application will function well under Durex. If your application will, you know, will, you know, it tells you, you know, the number of users you know that can use your application. You know simultaneously you know in real time you know for example um for example um at first when facebook application was um was developed you know probably uh mike superbox said um okay we want to have maybe about five million users you know to be able to use on um, facebook and um trust me currently we have almost 100 millions of users you know, using on uh, Facebook, I'm talking about maybe 500 million users, and uh, uh, and um, and uh, maybe even more. And uh, imagine when Mark Zuckerberg, you know, invented Facebook, and um, why performing those tests on Facebook, you know, the plan was for five million users, and um, they run load testing on the application, and uh, you know, maybe they ran five million users, and everything went well, you know. And um, the more download you get, the more you know you need to optimize your server, you know, optimize your uh, your uh, your application, you know. So this is the reason why we perform load testing on application, you know, to to um, to avoid you know your application you know from being crashing, you know, in future. So if you plan one thousand users to to test your um, to use your um, app. You know, you have to do tests, you know, for that 1,000 users to use your your application. So it's quite very important, you know, every application must, um, must um, overgo, overgo, overgo performance testing, you know, to, to determine the maximum operating capacity of the application, to determine whether the current infrastructure is, is sufficient, you know, to run the application 
sustainability sustainability of the application you know with respect to the peak user load and um the number of current uh, user so that is what um load testing um means and um and uh, um, let's move to the next slide so um the next slide says um yg meter so um Every every tester you know prefer to use um, JMeter to test, and there are several tools you know we use in the industry you know for performance testing. So we have um, JMeter, we have um, Load Runner, we have uh, we have different um, example of um, tools you know we use for performing testing, performance testing on uh, use for performance testing. So we'll be looking at the examples as we move further. And um, why JMeter? It's a uh, JMeter. Why JMeter? JMeter is not feasible to arrange hundred people with PC and um, internet internet access simultaneously. Accessing Google.com. Think of the infrastructure and requirements when you when you test for ten thousand users and a small number like Google. And you will need software like JMeter, you know, to simulate, you know, real user behavior, you know, to perform and uh, to perform slash, yeah, to perform slash on um, the test of your site. So advantages of um, JMeter. So uh, the advantages of JMeter is described below. You know, it's an open source license to, you know, and it uh, has a friendly GUI interface. And um, the platform is uh, quite, you know, independent. You know, it has a multi-trading framework. It has a um, visualizer test result. It's um, very easy to uh, to install on your PC, and it is highly extensible. It has unlimited testing <coughs> on high unlimited testing capabilities, and it supports multiple protocol. So as I uh, said earlier, these are just the uh, advantages of the, the advantages of JMeter. You using JMeter to test, you know, as I'm explaining on the screen. You know, like I said, it's open, it's open source, license friendly, um, user friendly. Platform is independent, free multi trading framework, and um, etc. And um, we have um, elements of JMeter. So. Um, as seen on the screen, I will show us the um, element of JMeter. So um, these are just the simple element of JMeter. You are, so when, once you need to perform you know, a test on JMeter, first thing you need to do, you need to create your test plan. Then the next one is to create a thread group. Um, uh, then while creating your test group, so you add um, samplers. And we have different type of samplers uh, which you can add to your test. Then we have the listener, we have the workbench, we have the assertions, and we have the config config elements. We have the config element, and we have logic controller, and we have the timer. You know, your test to run. We have the time for your test to run. So um, this is just to explain. Have, um, so, um, test plan. Test plan can be as simple as it could be. You know, we just um, with just thread group. So, samplers and listener it started getting more complex as soon as you start adding, you know, more elements, you know, like uh, config element, preprocessor, and uh, controller. And then, the important point about test plan is that. The test plan should be saved before running any test on JMeter, and um, your JMeter files or your test plan are saved in a uh, form of JMX extension files. And you can also save you can also save part of your test plan as a different selection. You know, for example, if you want to save an HTTP response sampler with some um, listener, you can save it with um, test fragments, and it can be used. You know, in other scenarios, in other test scenarios as well, and um, the element of workbench are not saved with uh, test plan. So all this just explain, you know, um, the elements of JMeter as I I listed, you know, 
earlier on. So you can take time and read about elements of Gmeter, the sampler, the pay request, and um, etc. So how does Gmeter works? So this is just um, this is just a simple flow of how Gmeter works, as seen on the screen. So the basic flow is to show you the uh, so the basic flow is shown as, uh, as uh, uh, on the screen. You can see it's almost like um, API. You send the request to the target server. You get the statistics information of the target server, and then generate test reports you know, in different uh, formats. Format for what uh, you've um, tested. So that is how Gmeter works. Send the request to the target server get statistics um, information on the target server, then generate your test report using different um, formats. Very simple. And Jmeter stimulates group of users by sending requests to the target server and return its statistics, statistics um, information you know, of the target server through graphical diagram. So that is how Jmeter works. So this is another flow of how it works again. So you create a request, you know, you create a request to the target server, you get a response from the from the server, save all the response, collect and calculate the statistics information, and then you will generate your reports. So uh, the next one is um JMeta dashboard overview. So in the next class, we'll be diving to uh, we'll be diving to Jmeter properly. You know, I will explain the dashboard to us, and then we'll start. We'll, we'll perform our first. Uh, um, we'll do our perform, first performance testing. You know, with Jmeter with an application. So um, we will all meet again on uh, on Wednesday, and um, we we'll continue with um, Jmeter again. So this will be um, the end of the class for today. And um, we'll all meet up here on Wednesday again to continue. So the training slide will be shared with us um, after the meeting, so we can go up and read up about it, and also go online and do research on our own. Thank you very much, sir. All right, guys. So, see you on Wednesday. Excuse me, Mr. David. Yes. Uh, is, is it possible? Uh, my name is Eric. I have I had a problem logging with my own account. I'm using this one. My name is Eric. Uh, I, is it possible, Mr. David? If you can, if the few of us, like sometimes you are like 15 who are active participants. And is it possible if we can set up a WhatsApp group for those people who are always curious where we can be discussing? Okay. Um, yeah, you can actually do that yourself. Um, it's a good idea. Yeah. Um, we have a primary uh, WhatsApp channel, you know, Everybody come together and uh, and discuss. So, but I get what you're trying to say. We all we have two channels. So, channel is the one we have two WhatsApp channels. So the first one is for the guys on site, and the first one is on um, general channel. So which one comprises of the guys online and the guys on site? So you can always interact, you know, in two channels. Yeah. So let's um we'll be seeing again on Wednesday. Um so uh, enjoy the rest of the day and I'll see you on Wednesday again. So this will be shared a minute after the class and um let us read up and um do online research. We'll meet up here Wednesday. So the rest of the day and um bye guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye.